Hello, this is Griff, and I'm just stopping in to say hello. I'm out roving today, which means I'm hiking the trails and talking to people that I run into, okay? It's been kind of interesting, but then I saw this recent burn here. Can you guys see it? Let me see if I can flip you around here. So they burnt this, the fire team, forestry team in Cal Fire came up here and they burnt this prairie. And look, stuff is already coming back. This is why I love California, because we don't really have a winter winter like they do in the middle uh, Midwest. It's like something here is always growing and blooming, um, even in, on cold days like this. So all these little sprouts, you can see the green, it's coming back. And then over there is the Rockefeller Forest. Quite beautiful. Grasshopper Ridge is over there and all kinds of cool stuff. So, um, hey, Nori. So this is a different kind of Facebook Live today because uh, we lost someone really important to the park. His name was Dave Stockton, and he was the, like one of the original directors of Humboldt Redwood and Turbot Association. And when I first came here almost a year ago in January, uh, he was being interviewed by one of my coworkers, and I sat in on a couple of them and, and watched the videos and talked to him and found out he was the foremost knowledge, the best primary resource in this area for me as the first full-time interpreter that this park has had, this sector has had in decades. So I was really excited to talk to him and then COVID hit. And COVID um, made it so, you know, he was an older dude, so he didn't want to like come in around a bunch of people. And I just found out yesterday that he passed away. And so I didn't get a chance to talk to him like I was going to, you know, every once in a while I'd see him in passing and we'd talk through masks and I'd ask him questions. I had Dave Stockton questions in my mind all the time. So when I saw him, I could ask him all these questions because no one knew like he did. He was like fourth generation Southern Humboldt, I believe. And um, family was among the original colonizers to the area and just has been here blow for blow um, in Southern Humboldt and Redwood country history and was super knowledgeable and he passed away and we lost all that knowledge. And so I just want to tell you guys that if you have an older person in your life that has really cool information, videotape them. I mean, you can even do it zoom. I could have done that with him. I could have tried to help him do zoom and I could have captured a lot of information um, that he has and no one else has. And I didn't do that. So maybe if you have a great grandparent or a grandparent, you can start recording their stories. Um, I did this with my grandparents. I'm really grateful for it that I did that. But um, because they're both past now. But don't put it off because I put it off and now I lost this great resource. But Dave Stockton's legacy will live on because he uh, did so much for this park. And it, when I say interpreter interpretation, I'm talking about natural and cultural resource interpretation. He took so many pictures. He was pretty awesome documenter. He built um, our visitor center, a large part of our visitor center. And um, oh, there goes the sun. And so, I don't know, it's just, it's crushing, it's brutal time um, to lose someone that was so important, and I really wish I would have talked to him more. So don't put off connecting with people who you want to talk to. And that's the message for today. So here's, uh, let's see, there's Rockefeller Forest, and here's one of our prairies, and Humboldt Redwood State Park is beautiful today, y'all, and hardly anybody's here. So um, let me see who's here. Jeanette, Jeanette yeah, this week I will, I'm going to do a... Uh, I'm going to do kind of like a memorial to him on the page. Thank you, Fred. Yeah, Susan. I, you know, I had another friend that passed away. Young friend, only 31. They got hit by a drunk driver this week, too. So I'm kind of feeling it. But it's a, it's a good place to be when you're mourning this beautiful place like this. Right on, Tim. So, anyways, I hope you guys had a good uh, vacation if you were off for Thanksgiving break. And... Come up here and visit sometime. The weather's supposed to be nice. I don't know if I would call it nice. We're having a drought. But, you know, it looks like this. Sometimes there's the upsides of droughts. But there's a lot of downside to my salmon. We might need my salmon to have lots of water here. So, anyways, I will talk to you all later. Let me see who's here. What's up, Rihanna? Uh, Nori. What's up, Derek? Christy. Yep, Christy it is. What's up, Holly? It is um, It's a rough one. It's a rough one to lose someone. They had so much information that I needed to, you know, I really wish I would have jumped on that and like at least had him record himself. We talked about it. In fact, we had an appointment for next week to do a video recording um, about the 64 floods because he, his house actually got moved by the floods that we had here in the 64. 
All right, y'all. So I'm going to be back on Tuesday with a live about something. I'm thinking mushrooms because I've been seeing mushrooms finally. So I'll be back with a live on Tuesday. And I hope you guys are all having a great time. And goodbye from Humboldt Redwood State Park.